Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This is on logo design. It's from a sketch to a vectored graphic. I did my sketch in Photoshop. Um, didn't take too long, just a quick rough sketch. Then I saved as a JPEG and I've just brought it into Illustrator. My Illustrator artboard is 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high, if you want to follow along. And I've just dropped in the image. Um, you can do it a very different ways. You can place it, place an image, or you can just open the image in Illustrator and copy and paste it into your artboard. Um, my preferred way is the second way. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to move it into the middle and just press Command 2. I'm going to take everything that I've just done here and shrink it down and move it out of the way just for a reference. Now, if you want to follow along, your color palette, you're going to need six colors to add CMYK values. Um, this orange, for example, CMYK, um, they're the values there. So if you just add each one of these colors into your swatches, I'm going to hit pause and you can add those now and we can continue. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make sure this image is locked down. So just click it and press Command 2. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to use the pen tool. I don't want this to be an exact straight cactus. I want it to have some contours and some some angles on it. So just with the pen tool, press P. I'm going to click down here. And I'm just going to add in anchor points. I'm going to drag. Nothing too severe. So you kind of go around the shape. Obviously it's going to select the orange. That was the last color that I had selected. So change that in a second. Back down to there. So with this selected, we're going to select one of the green colors, the, uh, the, the lighter of the two greens. And then we're going to go ahead and press P again, start drawing on one of the arms of the cactus. Until you're happy with the shape. Looks about right, that angle's just a bit too sharp. Round that out. Press P again. Do this bottom angle. And there we go, we've got the um, arms done. So just Grab what you've got, press V and grab everything, select, draw a box over everything, and just move it to one side. And we're going to look at these spikes. So I've got a few spikes in the middle there. That's fine. I'm going to undo this move. And I'm just, with the pen tool, I'm going to click. And I'm going to close this shape off with a little rounded bottom. I'm going to make this the darker green that we've already added. And then we're going to go ahead and add in all these spikes. I don't think you want to watch that individually, so I'm going to speed this up now and I'll come back to you in a second. So there we are, we've got the cactus, it's looking fairly good. Um, if you've copied along at home, it should look something like that when you've done. I'm going to just grab everything with V, drag a, a bounding box over everything and press command G. That's now just going to group it together. So we can shift this over to one side. And we're going to work on the sand dunes. So again, press P and just start somewhere over here. Just roughly going to mimic what we've done. When we get to the end there, I'm just going to press Alt and click this uh, anchor point. Then I'm going to go directly down holding shift, click and hold in shift again, click and close it off with the circle. Now I've got one sand dune. I'm going to press, I'm going to select it with V. I'm going to press alt, click and drag. Just going to change the colors of it. So let's have this one as the lighter orange. The next one slightly darker. I'm going to reflect this one here. Press OK. I'm just going to move some of the anchor points just roughly. Again, I'm going to select this one, press Alt, click and drag, change the color to the darker one. This time around, I'm going to maybe press P and get rid of an anchor point. Maybe drag this anchor point down, 
that there. Let me get rid of that anchor point. I'll just have this as a sweeping one there. Something like that looks about right. And then the last one we need is just go up to here to get the rectangle tool. And we're just going to draw a square to about there. That's going to be the light sort of lime colored background sky color. So press command shift in your left square bracket. Oh, and that's center to the back. Just press command right square bracket once or twice. I need to bring it to the, f there we go. So now we've got that. I'm going to select everything and just stretch it down a bit. Make sure it's big enough to cope with the cactus. Select my cactus, drag it over, press command shift in the right square bracket to bring it to the front. That looks about right there. So now I'm going to select the ellipse tool. I'm going to click and drag a circle. Make sure it doesn't go over the edge anywhere. Yeah, that's about right. I'm going to press V, just drag over these side shapes here. It selected the circle as well, which is fine. And then just press Command-7, which is going to mask everything into um, into that circle. Uh, obviously, our cactus has disappeared, but if we just drag um, drag V over everything and then Shift-click the circle, it's going to select the cactus, and we can Command-Shift-Right square bracket and brings that back to front. Now, on mine, I've got my cactus just slightly over the bottom just to give it a bit of depth. And then you can see they're repeated along. So we're going to take this shape and Alt, click and drag. And we're going to go to Pathfinder. If you can't see Pathfinder or any of the other windows, then just hit Windows and you can open them up. And we're going to hit Unite. And once that's united, it's just one solid shape now, one solid color. So we're going to go to the one of the edges of the bounding boxes, hold Shift, bring this down. I'm going to place it roughly where we want them. Again, Alt, click and drag. Shrink this one down as it goes into the distance, maybe for a bit of difference. Reflect tool, reflect it vertically. So it looks a bit different. Take that one over there. Again, shrink that one down. And now we're going to color drop them. So with that one selected, just press I and select the color that it's on. And press V, select this one. Press I, color drop the color it's on. And the same with this one, press V, press I, and color drop what it's on. So move that one up, maybe shrink it down just a bit. And then select everything, Command G. And you can shrink it down and move it out of the way. And that is how to create a vector graphic from a sketch. The same principles apply for anything that you've sketched out, just using the pen tool and different techniques like that. And then maybe you go on to make a sort of logo out of it, cactus. There we go. I hope that was useful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.